Yeah, girl, go hard or go home. You ain't got no uh no precursor, no I'm about to go live. Nope. Okay. We just out here. They have okay. a new streaming service. Interesting. Okay, I haven't been live in a minute. Hello, hello. What did I title this? Tracy, hey girl. Where's Tracy at? Cheers. <laughs> you know you see his favorite. <laughs> hey Tracy. She said, hey C. <laughs> oh, Tracy, I decided to do a little bit of small talk Saturday live. Hey Nicole. I decided to do Small Talk Saturday live because I feel like I've been, I ain't been treating you like, with, I have not been treating you right with Small Talk Saturday. And I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Let me just go live. And I've probably gone live maybe, I can count the number of times on YouTube. I've done it twice on YouTube. So I was like, may as well just do it right now. LQ, hey boo. Thanks for joining. What are y'all doing and why does he look like a dealer in the background? <laughs> I'm trying to make my connect calls. Don't mess with me. <laughs> like, what are, you, what are you dealing over there? Oh, Lord. I cannot wear her. Wear her Black Lives Matter shirt on. Hey, Libby. Thank you so much, Libby. And I saw your message just now before I went live. I was like, oh, my goodness. You are so supportive. Thank Libby, you so you're much. <laughs> I love her. She's great. I'm going to allow y'all to come in. Hey, y'all. I have a little bit of my sangria in my Juneteenth cup. This is for the ancestors. I got this from one of my friends from college, Social Soiree by Kiera. Let me drop her, in, her info in the chat in case y'all are interested. Social. Hold on. Social Soiree by Kiara. And she makes really cute like apparel and decor and party favors just like this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says for the ancestors, Juneteenth. Libby, <laughs> I'm sure you were, girl. <laughs> it wasn't just you, though. Someone else also texted me like they were having issues with the chat as well. So it wasn't just you. Um, Tracy, actually, C and I are working on that, doing like a collaboration in that way. So I won't say too much, but just stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you, Libby. I love this glass. This is like my go-to like goblet when I'm feeling fancy. I just throw my little wine in here. I got some fruit in here, some frozen strawberries, and I'm good to go. Oh, Sucky Sex, what's up, girl? Thanks for joining. That would be lit, Nicole. I think so too. I think so too. Uh, she's like the comedian in this duo. So <laughs> I realize people find her highly entertaining. <laughs> Shiva, hey boo. Thanks for coming. Serenity. Oh, thank you so much, boo. Thank you for joining me on this live. This is very impromptu, y'all. Like literally. I just finished my first virtual workshop and I don't know why, like I'm my, literally I'm a teacher, right? So my job involves public speaking all the time to kids, to parents, families, to my colleague, my colleagues. But for some reason I just still get nervous. So I just finished talking for an entire hour straight, <laughs> but it went super well, super, super well. And I was like, you know what? Let me let me come talk to my YouTube fam while I'm in the live moment. You know what I mean? I may as well. Um, who's up in here? Lakita Fields. Hey, boo. Welcome. Hey, Nicole. Thanks for the hearts and thanks for coming. Tracy, I did not know Game Changer is a ponytail. Drop that link. I did not know that. Oh, you see the wig I'm rocking? <laughs> Yes, this is by Y Wigs, y'all. This is Miss Zoe. And for those who, for some reason, maybe didn't catch the video, I'm just going to drop the link for y'all. 
because I love me some Zoe. Let me just um, bring this up here. Where is she? Do, do, do. How do I share? Oh my goodness. You know what, let me just pull it up on my bit links. I'm so glad you all are joining me on this fine Saturday afternoon. I'm really happy about that. Okay, this is the link for the wig I'm wearing right now, in case any of y'all wanna check it out. And that's my code, you get $10 off if you order from them. Miss Versatile, hey, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. I would love to try the Game Changer ponytail. Like, even though I don't usually rock ponytails like that, I would love to try it. And by the way, I am coming out with a ponytail lookbook this week. So stay tuned for that, because that's going to be dropping. All right, so yeah, y'all. Um, I just finished that workshop. It was really, really great. I was discussing basically how to grow an audience on social media, in particular on YouTube and on Instagram. And it went really well. I think at the highest, it was like 11 people in the workshop. So that was cool. And, and people were asking questions. So it was nice. It was really nice. And the whole point of this event, it's an HBCU virtual virtual vote rally. So bringing people together for music, fun, and games, general engagement to encourage young people to vote. That was the purpose of this event. And, ooh, excuse me. And I just, I, I just, I think it went really well. It was hosted by the National Urban League of Young Professionals. And one of my good friends from college, she is the advocacy chair of that organization. So she reached out to me and was like, hey girl, do you wanna like do this workshop with me? And I was like, <laughs> Cause again, when it comes to public speaking, I do get very nervous even still to this day, but I did it and I'm glad I did. Miss Chrissy, hey boo. I'm, it's okay, Chrissy. I'm just glad that you were able to jump in and say hi. That really means a lot to me. And Libby, yes, you did make it to the event. I'm glad you found it empowering. I wish I was able to see all the other events beforehand, but I'm just happy that some of our student leaders from HBCUs are taking their time to encourage people to vote and just share their knowledge. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And as I did mention on Instagram, I'm a very proud alumna of Howard University. So I just feel like it's part of my job to give back when I can to HBCU life in general. Nicole says she thinks she lost hers in a move. <laughs> oh my gosh. So today is... Small Talk Saturday Live. Um, I wanted to give you guys just a few updates when it comes to Small Talk Saturday, right? Okay, let me take a sip before I begin. So when I started Small Talk Saturday, I knew that I wanted it to be a space for us to talk about things that are important to us on this channel. And I started it off with YouTube growth tips, Instagram growth tips, because that's just something that I'm very interested in. I've watched a ton of videos on it. And I think I've, I've had some success with growth myself. So I was like, let me share what I know. Um, however, it wasn't the point for, for Small Talk Saturday wasn't supposed to stay that way for this long. I literally thought I was just gonna do like maybe four videos and then move on. But because people were enjoying it, I just kept going. But now it's coming to the end of the road where Small Talk Saturdays will transform into what I originally intended. So I have a few more video ideas that pertain to um, growth on YouTube. And I think I will do two more videos. I'm pretty sure I will do two more videos. After that, I'm gonna switch gears because as I normally state at the beginning of my Small Talk Saturday videos, it's supposed to be a time for talk about to talk about things important to us on this channel. So 
I know for me, one video topic that I have are my 30 lessons I've learned by 30. And I haven't decided exactly how I want to do it, but I do want to like talk to you all while I'm like installing a hair unit of some sort. Like maybe it's a headband wig since I'm so obsessed with he headband wigs these days or some type of frontal. But I just want to, I just want us to like engage more about other things outside of hair. So that's what Small Talk Saturday is going to transform into. So if there are any specific topics that you want me to talk about for Small Talk Saturday while I'm doing some hair, you can drop comments in here in the chat. You can DM me. You can hit me up on a YouTube comment, however you want to do it. Um, so yes, I would be really happy to receive that feedback from you all. And I'm also going to put up a poll in my YouTube community tab too, just to see where people's heads are at when it comes to small talk Saturday. <coughs> so that's the direction we're going. But today, since I didn't do a video today, and again, I'm so sorry that this is like the third week in a row where I didn't do a Small Talk Saturday video. So that's why I'm here live talking to you all while I have the energy and the gusto. And I just wanted to do like a live Q&A session of some sort where we can discuss anything related to like being a content creator, being on YouTube, being on Instagram, any questions you have relating to that. Um <laughs> Look at, look at, see, just gave me a nice refill. Look at you, bartender. <laughs> Thank you. This is pretty good. I believe C got this sangria from Costco. And normally I'm finicky about pre-made sangria, but this is, this is decent, especially once you throw some fruit in there. Hey, Shauna, welcome. Thanks for joining us today. Shauna, all I was saying was that I did a workshop today and I was also giving updates on Small Talk Saturday and how I'm just changing the direction a little bit to what I originally intended. And I want it to be about things that we as a channel are interested in. So I have a few video ideas, but I am gonna pose a question on my community tab to see how other people feel. But yeah, so today specifically, I want us to do like a live Q and A where you can ask me questions about YouTube, about growing on, Instagram about being a content creator, um, just anything that you've wanted to ask that you just haven't had the opportunity to ask. And I'm here to answer and be transparent. And it's 5.11 right now, and I feel like I have a good hour to chat with you guys. So yeah, feel free to shoot some questions. Nicole said, I recently discovered your channel via Britney's channel, and you are a game changer in my opinion. Oh, snap. You found me through Britney. Let me tell you. I've been watching Britney since 2015. Before we became YouTube friends, I was an avid watcher, still am, subscriber to Britney. So, yeah, I, I love her so much. I feel like she has been super welcoming since my day one on YouTube. So she's just been an awesome support to me. And the fact that people find me through her just makes my heart so warm. Makes me smile. <laughs> oh, yes. To be on my opinion, I don't see much difference between curls, curls, and her giving hair besides 150. Nicole, I must agree because I have a her giving hair unit and I reviewed it, I believe, back in November, December. Love the unit. It was definitely my vacation hair for my birthday. But once I tried my curls curls unit around the same time, and I was like, this is like the same, same type of hair, except my curls curls unit is longer. Now I have another curls curls unit, the headband wig, and I'm just like, oh, I love it so, so much. So even though I'm not knocking her given hair, because one thing I, I love about what I see on her given hair's website is they have these like highlighted colors for the natural hair wigs. And I just feel like when it comes to doing kinky curly hair with color, it's it's hard to find it done well. So I do like that Her Given Hair does it well. I don't know if you guys saw Natural Joy's video, but she reviewed this Her Given Hair unit with the highlights and then she straightened it. It was like a kinky straight, not kinky straight. It was like a kinky-ish kind of unit and she blew it out. Oh my gosh, 
bomb. I want that unit. <laughs> I really want it. So I do think that if you want a natural kinky curly style, curls curls is perfect for that. I love it. Even this unit here, this is by Y Wigs. And I love this unit for the curl pattern and the color. The color is just a beautiful, I feel like you don't get the true color on this live right now. But if you've seen the video, you see how beautiful it is. Um, okay, so Shauna said, Tracy said, <laughs> her giving hair will never see me. Sorry, not sorry. I don't blame you. <laughs> not knocking them, but I understand. Shauna asked me, do you have any advice for how many times a week to post videos? So at this current juncture, I post videos normally three times a week. If I post twice a week, it's because I'm slacking. <laughs> but normally I aim for three times a week and I've been doing pretty well with that for like the past year and a half or so. I just think that when you're starting on YouTube and also trying to maintain, it's encouraged to post as much as you can. I'm not saying post every day because that's, to me, that's just a whole lot. Like that's just not feasible to keep up. But I think if you are trying to, start out and actually grow, I think posting twice a week is, is solid. If you're able to post once a week, I think that's, that's cool too. Um, but I think twice a week is even better. So that would make twice a week is, um, eight videos in a month. I think eight videos in a month is definitely way better than four videos in a month or one video a month. You know what I mean? Like sometimes people who have contacted me and actually me about growing on YouTube and I when I look at their channel they post like once a month and I'm like well that's one of the reasons why you're having trouble growing you're not being consistent enough for the algorithm to pick up on your videos um so Shauna to answer your question yeah I think at least twice a week is definitely solid and I feel you, girl. You're in school and working full time. I totally feel you. I'm not in school right now, but I do work full time. And being a teacher comes with a lot. <laughs> I am grateful that I'm able to teach and teach from home. I'm grateful for that because I don't really want to be out and about during this time. It gives me anxiety with COVID going on. But I it, like you have to find a way to um, create a schedule that is conducive to your life, if that makes sense. So it's something that it's like an up and down struggle for me. Like some weeks are better than others. You know what I mean? When my computer broke, that was cool because I kind of like took a little break a little bit. But once I got my computer back, I just felt immense pressure to like catch up on all these videos and posts. And it just really stressed me the fuck out, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> oh, so yeah, it's about balance. But just like I was saying in my workshop today, I think using my planner consistently has been such a game changer for me. And also using the app Trello. I have it on my phone, but I use it more so on my computer. And that has been awesome because this is a way for me to see my content calendar like a month ahead is just, I just need that visual. And then my planner I use for like my daily tasks. Uh, Nicole said my bank account isn't set up for her given here. I feel you. And that's why channels like mine and others do give lots of affordable options because, you know, just because it's a little bit cheaper doesn't mean it can't be of good quality. And just in case you all are wondering, I do have more headband wigs coming. It's not stopping anytime soon. Um, yeah, I have at least six more coming. So, and they're all at different price points. Some are definitely very affordable. So I'm hoping that you know, through my videos, I'm giving a little something for everybody. Hey, Tawanda. Tawanda said, I love your $20 Tuesday. Thank you. $20 Tuesday, you know, that's definitely been a fan favorite. I started off wearing wigs because, why did I start wearing wigs? Really because of one of my homegirls. I went on a trip with her. 
And she had on this RPG show wig. And I was like, oh, I had never heard of RPG show. This was back in 2015. And I looked it up and I was like, oh, I don't, I don't want to spend $400 right now. Like, that's not my budget. <laughs> and so that's when I started researching on YouTube. I found synthetic wigs and it's been a wrap since then. So I'm just really happy that $20 Tuesdays has become a place for people to find really super cute, affordable wig options. I think people just need to keep in mind that, you know, you not necessarily that you get what you pay for, because I do feel like you can get a very good bang for your buck with some of these cheaper wigs. But just understand like certain things that come with it, like with synthetic wigs, you're going to have tangling mostly at the nape for a lot of them, especially if they are a silkier texture. You know, you're going to have some shedding, but of course, natural hair sheds, too. So just be reasonable with your expectations. Shauna enjoys a little bit of everything with the price range. I do too, because even though I've only been, even though I've primarily been reviewing synthetic units, I really am enjoying the human hair units as well. And I definitely can see the difference in quality in different human hair units now. So I'm just happy to provide all that information to y'all. So y'all can make an informed decision. I see too many people out here <laughs> on Facebook getting wigs from ads and they are lying. <laughs> okay. Like they are straight lying to people. I was so upset when I saw Brittany posted some company called Charlie's wigs. They have this ad that has apparently millions of views of her. Brittany was in her, her given hair headband wig and they're trying to purport it as their wig. And I'm just like, are you serious? Like someone hit me up the other day saying like, Hey Gladys, um, I want to buy a wig for my friend. What do you think of this company? I'm like, girl, this company is fake. <laughs> fake as hell. Please do not buy from them. And I gave her the reasons why not to buy from them. And she was like, oh, thank you for telling me. So I just part of it, people don't really know. Um, they're not aware. That's why it's just so important to do your research, primarily through YouTube, because you have video reviews. They're so helpful. Like when I started wearing wigs, I watched a slew of people review them. Brittany, the hearts and cake, 90, right? Trendy K, digging her style, waist to waistline, um, Deanna Marguerite. Like these are the people that I watched consistently back then when I first started. Oh, Shauna, they got you. Oh no. What was the company? Call them out. Cause that's not cool. And yes, Tawanda, I do feel like I've been showcasing more affordable human hair units. Um, of course, some people have commented saying like they felt like certain units were too expensive. But I think everyone here, we're grown. We know what our budget is, right? So what's expensive to one person may be affordable to the next person. And I'm not here to count anybody's pockets. I'm really just here to tell you what I think about the wig showcase you different options so that you can make an informed decision. Chocolate Butterfly. Hey, love. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming to my live. What do I think of AliExpress, Tawanda? Um, I don't have an issue with AliExpress. My first time ever wearing a weave, and I was 25. It was for my 25th birthday. This was years ago. My first time wearing a wig was from hair from AliExpress, and I love that hair. Um, can't tell you what happened to it because shortly afterwards I started wearing wigs, so I wasn't really interested in weave anymore. <laughs> I started to feel like I could do this myself better. <laughs> so, but I like the hair a lot. I think it just depends on the vendor. Like once you find a vendor that you can trust, and you know through YouTube research. You can find someone that people trust, that people highly recommend. I think you're good to go. I have um, two headband wigs coming up that are from companies through AliExpress that I'm pretty sure y'all are going to enjoy. So I think AliExpress is cool. C said, I don't have a budget. <laughs> oh, Lord, you're damn right you don't. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, Chocolate Butterfly. I'm glad you caught my live, too. I'm so happy that you're here. I was like, it's a Saturday afternoon. It's sunny outside. People are probably out. But I'm happy you all made it. Tonight, did I say your name correctly? Hey, girl. Cannon. 
Welcome. Michelle Love, welcome. Thank you. I'm just here. We're talking about hair, but in general, I'm doing Small Talk Saturday Live today, and I'm just opening the floor for y'all to do like a general Q&A. If you want to ask me questions about YouTube and being a content creator, influencer, you can ask me. If you want to talk about something else, feel free. I'm kind of just leaving it up to y'all because I feel like I've been leaving y'all hanging on Saturdays, and I'm trying to make up for it today by going live. So I'm so happy to be here. Oh, uh, thank you. Chocolate Butterfly, what's your name? Because sometimes I feel weird calling people by their screen names. I'm just like, what's your name? <laughs> um, Nicole said, those Amazon wigs are so cool. Girl, I was floored when I tried those Amazon wigs in the video. Like, y'all saw my live reaction. I was like, huh? This actually looks like hair with a head wrap like it doesn't look like it came all together so spoiler alert for those in the chat i bought some more amazon wigs so i will be sharing them on 20 dollar tuesday so if you're in here and your notifications aren't on please make sure you tap that gray bell turn the notifications on so that you are notified when i upload because that's one thing with youtube you can be subscribed to people but if you're not getting notifications, you're probably not going to see my video. There's a lot of people out here on YouTube. So turn those notifications on. Shauna, please get on the Amazon wigs. The headband wigs are, they're looking good so far. And the ones that I ordered, I'm actually receiving them like today, like tonight. <laughs> so I'll be able to try them out and do my video by tomorrow. I'm really excited because it seems like, a lot of you really enjoyed that those Amazon finds. And I haven't seen anyone else review it yet either. So I think people just don't know about it. So I'm here to spread the word. Okay, I'm here to spread the good news. Okay, so yes. Coco, so blessed. Hey girl, welcome. Oh, Lorinda. Hey, hun. Thank you for joining. I'm happy to have you here. I want that drink. Lorinda, I am drinking a pre-made sangria that my girlfriend got from Costco in my little Juneteenth goblets. And I have some frozen fruit in here and it is delectable. It's pretty good. I'm feeling a little fancy today. All right. Oh, you have in your cart right now, Nicole? That's what I'm talking about. Well, after this $20 Tuesday, you might have a few more. I'm just saying. Um, Lorna said she's new to the wig game. You watched my channel for the first time this morning. Uh, really? Also, you must have watched my um, part one between Curly Penny and Straight Annie. Well, Lorna, I have an affinity for textured units like this or Kinky Straight. That's just like my favorite textures of all time. So automatically, I'm going to choose Annie because she's a Kinky Straight texture. Nothing against Penny because I know Penny has been a fan favorite in the synthetic wig community for a very long time. Um, just know that synthetic curl units are prone to tangling, starting at the nape, going down. So keep that in mind. If As long as you manage your expectations, you're good to go. Um, I really, oh, Coco, this wig I have on, love it. I posted the link earlier. I might have to post it again, but this is by Y Wigs, it's Zoe. I love Sangria LQ and LQ. I need to catch up on your Sunday Mimosa live because I love when you ask your little, your, your questions in there. It's a little popping. <laughs> I love it. Um, Tawana's been in search for a natural looking short pixie cut wig. Any ideas? Pixie cut wig. Digging Her Style has done quite a few pixie cut wigs on her channel. So I definitely recommend Digging Her Style. Let me just type that in. Check out Digging Her Style for the pixie cut. Cut uh, wigs. LQ Love, yes. Sunday, she does her mimosa live. Wait, LQ, just, just say the name because your name is cute the way you say it. Put it in the chat. Check out her live on Sundays. I really enjoy it when I'm able to catch it. So I think y'all would enjoy it too. Oh, Nicole, you was waiting for $20 Tuesday before you. <laughs> I know that's right, girl. 
Because <laughs> you know you're just going to add to cart. Like, you already know. So may as well wait till Tuesday at 6 p.m. That's another thing, y'all. I am, like, at this point, my upload schedule is normally Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Tuesdays is, oh, like, 20 hour Tuesday is a set day. And Small Talk Saturday is a set day. But the third upload, it varies. Sometimes it's Thursday. Sometimes it's Friday. So I really appreciate y'all, like, rock with me and joining me, even though it's not necessarily the same set day every week for some of my uploads. But y'all still show out. So thank you. That means a lot to me. Oh, you found the link, Coco? Bet. Yes. Makeup and mimosas. I love it. Check out LQ Loves live on Sundays. Makeup and mimosas. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I love digging her style, Lottie. She is literally one of the first people I watched on YouTube. And I loved how quick and to the point her reviews are and how she just made everything look so effortless to this day. And I know she's recently about to be married, too. I'm just so happy for her. I feel like I've seen her grow a lot in the past five years. Oh, look at that. Tonight's going to be coming to Makeup with Moses. Yes. Oh, Nicole, you were debating between Nisha and Boss Babe? Okay. A lot of y'all know that I stand for my Nisha wigs. The Nisha Soft and Natural series has my heart. But with some of the recent drops that have happened, companies are really getting it together. I think they're taking a page of the Outrace book when it comes to the texture because they've realized like, when it comes to our natural texture, our hair does not have to feel like straight cankle on fibers. It doesn't have to feel rough. Our type four, type three hair can feel soft. So it's okay to make wigs that mimic that. So I think since then people have been coming around like with the latest drops from Janet collection, I will be trying those out. So expect a video on that um, within the next week and a half. But between Nisha and Boss Babe, I love Boss Babe after I did some work to her. Like I used my Revlon blow dry brush through her and I loved her. I did a video on that too. Yes, yeah, see, you love you some Nisha. Janet collection, let me tell you. Janet is coming for Outre's neck right now. I have the wigs in my possession right now. Um, but, and I haven't put them on yet. I haven't even tried it on. Do y'all want to see the wigs that I have? Real quick, should I, should I bring it out? If you want to see it, just say yes, and I'll go downstairs and get it and show you what I have. Um, but they are coming for Outre's neck with this latest drop. I'm excited, okay? Because right now, in my mind, Outre reigns supreme when it comes to the textures and the colors, but I don't mind a little competition. You feel me? Oh, I'm seeing yeses coming for that number one spot. <laughs> Yes. Yes. See. Oh, my video introduced you to Boss Babe. Oh, yes. I think once I used that blow dry brush, it really hooked it up. Exactly, Lorenda. Like, hello. When I put a wig on my head, I need you to be like, um, is that your hair? <laughs> Y'all see what I did there? Um, okay, so let me go grab these wigs I just recently received and I'll show you what they look like. I got them in like pretty natural colors, but I'll just show you them. BRB, don't leave. I'll be right back. Okay, Ugh. I have some goodies to show you guys. All right, all right, so I am doing a collab with a company. I'm doing a collab with a black owned company. So when I post this video, 
I need y'all to click the links and support my girl, okay? Because she sent me these wigs. But um, let me show you them. I'm gonna start with, let me see what y'all are saying. Yeah, Lottie Dottie, that blow dryer brush is the truth. Highly recommend. Um, Angel Face, I really, see Sensational, I feel like once the Janet Collection released, the Sensational drops kind of got pushed to the side. But Angel Face is a super pretty unit as well as Elite Babe. So I still want to try those. I just honestly haven't made time to because I've been doing all these headband wig reviews and stuff. And my hair is not braided. And <laughs> I need to get my hair braided. Hold on. Let me just fix my headband. So, yeah, once I get my hair braided, which will be within the next few days, I'll be able to review these lace wigs. Because the way my hair is set up, even though I've tried to, like, you know, just do twists and, like, wear them under a wig, it just never lays flat enough. Like, my type 4 hair just needs to be braided, okay? It takes a lot of work to get it to be flat under a wig, so... Yes. Um, Chocolate Butterfly asks, oh, wait, Tawanda said, I'm still trying to get my hands on Julianne. Let me tell you, I'll trade Julianne, and I was just telling C this this morning, I'll trade Julianne is easily in my top five wigs of 2020. When I do that top 10 or top 20, whatever video I do at the end of the year featuring my favorite wigs of the year, I'll trade Julianne is going to be in that video. I absolutely adore that wig. I have it in two colors and I would get it again in like a blonde color. It's beautiful texture. I, the hairline to me is pretty decent. Um, and I just feel like it just blends so well with my dark skin. So, um, yes, I'm just scrolling up to see what y'all are saying. The blow dryer brush. You want the link? Let me drop the links to the blow dryer brush real quick. So I can help y'all out because I love that brush so much. I think it just does a really great job with my units when I'm just trying to like lessen the density without cutting out hair. So let me just drop that link for you all. Hold on a second. All right, here is a link to the Vogue blow dryer brush. Share to save a life. <laughs> Oh, Shanice, yeah. I actually, when I bought Shanice Tracy, I found her on sale for like $30. It was crazy. I grabbed her up so fast because I originally tried her in the blonde color and it took some getting used to, but in the natural number two, oh, Shanice is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yes, Lottie, purchase Julianne. All right, let's get into these wigs and see what they look like, right? So this first one, and I'm not trying these on because, again, my hair is not flat <laughs> under this wig. This one is Janet Collection Tamila, and I have her in a number two color. So I just want to give you all a little sneak peek of what you all are going to see when I review these wigs. Oh, my gosh. Y'all see this? Look at these curls. Oh, this feels nice. Oh, this feels like love. Okay, Janet. And so this is what I'm noticing here. You see the lace color? It's like a tinted brown lace, which works for darker skin. If you are of a lighter complexion, you would just have to cut as close as you can to the hairline and then use your um, pressed powder to conceal. What I'm noticing here is this parting space is a little tight. Y'all see that? I feel like that's tighter than what I remember for Janet Collection units. And also, this is a little bit, I, I feel filler hairs in here. Oh, did my, is my finger stuck in here? Janet, why, why I did that? <laughs> Look here, okay, I see it, let me just show you. There are filler hairs in here. Why did you do that, Janet? She's perfect. 
But I don't like filler hairs. <laughs> Why would they do that to Wanda? Yeah, so it definitely makes it look like puffy on this side. Like compared to this side, I don't know if you guys can notice, but it just looks a little bit puffier. And Celia, oh my God, I said Celia. <laughs> See, filler hairs are basically like these little crunchy, munchy hairs that they put um, in a unit to kind of add a lift to the hair. Normally you would see filler hairs in like a bang unit, but this is not a bang unit. I don't know why there are filler hairs. But besides that, y'all, look at the cap here. It's like your standard cap with like a curved part here. Two combs in the front, right? Comb in the back, adjustable strap. She is gorgeous. Tamila, honey. Let's see, where are we going in this wig? Let me know. She's pretty. What do y'all think? Let me see. Tracy said dryer brush activated. Coco, it's the curls for me. And yes, that's right. Um, I would definitely just apply some heat to the top when I put this wig on and I'll be good to go. This is going to be really pretty. And I've seen, I've seen quite a few reviews. I know wigs to wasteland. Kyra Sean, my boo Kyra Sean did a great review featuring all the wigs from this latest drop. So definitely check out her video when you can, if you, if you want to see the different styles and different colors, but this is pretty. I like this. Oh, girl. <laughs> okay, Tamila, we're going to have some fun. So yeah, this is her in the number two color. And it says it here on a stock card. This is the natural me blowout wig. Love it. I have to give it to Janet Collection. I do because let me tell you. So one of my, my highest viewed video on my channel is a review. Well, it was, it, was, it was more so a tutorial of how to make your wig look natural for Janet Collection Jode. As much as I love the style of Janet Collection Jode, the fibers, uh, no. <laughs> the fibers were no, they're just way too dry, like cankalon fibers. So I'm just so happy that they're really getting it together with these latest drops. Like, I feel like I'm seeing the progression because even when they came out with the curly drops, like um, Janet Collection Jenna um, and another shorter one, Amani, like those weren't as dry as Jode, but they were like a, a middle kind of feel like they were kind of soft depending on the unit, depending on the color, you know what I mean? But I feel like this latest drop right here, they're getting it all the way right. Let me see. Oh, tonight you haven't brunch with your sugar daddy. Did I miss something? <laughs> oh man, is Bella Rose heat resistant? Yes, she is definitely heat resistant. You can flat iron her, I believe up to like 360 degrees. Jode is lacking just a bit. Yes, she is. And you know what I saw? I actually saw, y'all can look this up too, that Jode, there's like a human hair blend version. Did any of y'all notice that? Janet Collection Jode, I'm gonna drop the link and tell me if you guys noticed that. It was, and I was like, human hair blend? I don't know if anyone's talked about it on the YT, but hold on, let me see. I'm going to drop the link for y'all. And because this is, oh no, this link is too long, Ebony Line. Let me try another link. <laughs> uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me try this one. It's so good, BB. Is it going to let me post the link? Oh, I'm trying to post the link for you guys. Uh, I don't think it's going to let me do it. But basically, if you search Janet Collection Human Hair, if you search Janet Collection Jode Human Hair Blend, it'll pop up Google search. And I was like, I want to try it, but part of me is afraid of getting disappointed. So I don't know. <laughs> Tanai said, I've always been confused with the term human hair blend. Basically, human hair blend means it's a mix of human hair fibers and synthetic fibers. That's all it means. So 
doing a blend is supposed to ensure that it lasts longer, the unit lasts longer. And I will attest that it does with the right unit. Like I reviewed a unit by Bobby Boss um, from the Miss Origin series. Love that human hair blend. That joint feels like human hair. I got it in the natural straight. It's a gorgeous unit. Can't re recommend it enough. And actually, if I can pull up the video for y'all, I will drop the link. Um, Bobby Boss, Miss Origin. Because I was so impressed by that unit. A lot of people reviewed that unit in different styles too. All right, so. Hey, Lachey, thank you so much. Thanks for dropping in. I'm just over here showing some Janet collection wigs. All right, so I just showed Tamila, and now I'm going to show you all Deidre, Deidre in the chocolate hazel color. Ooh. Hold on, wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> Why isn't this, this don't want to come out the box? Okay, y'all, this does not want to come out the box, so we're just gonna pull the wig out. This looks crazy, why isn't this coming out? Okay. Okay, all right, so this is the chocolate hazel color. I'm just taking out the packaging. Ooh, hold on. Can I can I show y'all in the sun? This is like a true chocolate color. So if you're into that, this is the unit for you. It reminds me of like a number four with 27 highlights. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's what it reminds me of. And honestly, I'm not a big a fan of the 27 color on me. I think sometimes it can look a little brassy on my skin tone. So I don't know about this color for me, but I think somebody will like it. But this style though, hold on, this is different. Okay, y'all see this parting space? How come Tamila don't look like that? Where, where's she at? Hold on. This is, okay, look y'all. See if y'all can see what I'm talking about. This is the parting space on Tamila over here and this is the parting space on Deidre. Why are they so vastly different? <laughs> They're from the same collection, why is it so different? Like this is what we want. We don't want this, this is, no. I don't know. And I think it's because they put those damn filler hairs. This looks really nice. And even the pre-plucking that's going on here, like they did a, a nice job with that. I like that. Wow, this is so pretty. Now I'm wishing that I got this in a number two color <laughs> because she is beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at these pageant curls. Yes, okay. I feel like I'm about to win an award in this wig. Y'all see me? And this texture is divine. This is this is very pretty, y'all. Super, super pretty. And I think this is like the perfect Zoom conference wig. Like I might have to rock this wig before I even do the review. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> okay, so Deidre's pretty. And again, this is the chocolate hazel color. So you have the number four on top and then the peekaboo 22, I mean 27 color towards the back. All right, Lorna asks, have I ever worn Outre Dominican curly half wig? Have not worn that wig. I've seen it a dozen times on different people. I know people liked it. When it comes to synthetic curly wigs, here's my thing. They, the way they come, you have to customize them, in my opinion, to fit your face. And Altry Dominican Curly was just overwhelming for me. And I just never thought to buy it because I probably just didn't feel like doing the work to customize it, honestly. So it's not on my radar or anything, but I know that people who have bought it do like the wig. Oh, Jacqueline. Hey, girl. 
Love your personality. Love that wig you have on now. What is that? Girl, let me, <laughs> let me drop the link for you because I know some of you have been asking about this wig. This is by Y Wigs. Her name is Zoe. And I love her so, so much. She is so pretty, y'all. And she feels great. And one thing I love about this unit is that, like, when fluffing out the curls... You can make it, I mean, you can make it as big as you want to. If you want it more defined, you just spray some water. So let me just show you wig I'm wearing now. Let me put this in the chat. That's the wig I'm wearing now, Jacqueline. I love it. And I have, oh, am I running out of water? This is the water. Like literally I can just add water to tame her down if I want to. You see, I can add water. I love this spray bottle, y'all. This, this joint is so clutch. Look at that. Look at that. So pretty. And if you want the link to this, I'll drop it. Yeah, Dominican Curly is a lot of hair. The feeling when you open the Amazon package and nothing's for you. <laughs> I know that's happened a few times where I get mail and see want to act like it's for her. And it's like headband wigs or headbands. <laughs> She's so tight. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to show you the last Janet collection wig that I'm going to be reviewing. And this one right here, I already know I'm going to love this one. This one is um, Kaja in the number two color. Every person I've seen rock Kaja looks beautiful in her. So I'm so excited to rock her. So excited. Look here. And this is Kaja. Look, ooh, hold on, wait a minute. Yes, Tawanda, I'll drop the link for the spray bottle. Let me grab it real quick. Do, do, do. Hold on one second. Where is it? Is it not in this video? Hold on, I'm gonna grab the link for the spray bottle. Do, do, do. All right. Here you go. This is the link for the spray bottle. Hey, Antoinette. You're from, okay, you're from Pennsylvania. We're in Pennsylvania. Where I am, there's not a lot of variety in regards to wigs, so I'm tuned in. You know, I hear that from people a lot, so I'm so happy that I can help. Online shopping is the way to go. Like I don't buy my wigs from the beauty supply store just because it's cheaper online. And I know for some people that can be a little nerve wracking because you may not know what you're looking for. And that's why I'm hoping like people like me and others who do wig reviews, we can help you kind of like make a better decision and ease some of that anxiety when it comes to purchasing wigs online. Oh, you're from the Poconos. I only went to the Poconos one time for like Thanksgiving one year. It was nice. All right, so here is Miss Kaja. This hairline is looking like Deidre's, which is looking pretty nice. The parting space is looking pretty good. The lace is brown, similar to my skin color. And this is what she's looking like. A nice textured wig. She has some layers here. You see these long layers. Oh, this is, this is gonna be gorgeous. This is giving me Nisha 203 vibes, honestly. And y'all know I love me some Nisha 203. I love that wig to death. I have it in like six different colors. But Kaja is kind of like a, dad, this is like a dupe for Nisha 203. Something about this looks a little bit more improved. Like I feel like, hmm, I'm looking at the hairline. It looks a little bit more pre-tweezed to me. Y'all see the layers? Kaja's pretty. 
to let me tell you, Al Trey, y'all better, y'all better hold on tight because Janet Collection is coming for y'all. When Al Trey dropped the Nisha Collection last year, everybody was shook because they were like, oh shit. <laughs> Oh, shit. And I understand why, because the collection's bomb. So since then, I'm sure y'all have noticed, like, all the textured wigs that have been coming out back to back to back, month by month from other companies, right? I'm pretty sure it's because of Altre. But Janet is the one that's really competing right now with this latest collection. Now, don't get me wrong. I did review Zuri Sis Badu and Zuri Sis Romy, and I really, really like those wigs. I really, really like those wigs. Um, they were a little bit on the fuller side though. I feel like these Janet collection wigs are probably a more manageable density for most people because I know that was one complaint people had about the original Misha, how it was just so full and voluminous. And I do have over, I do have a tutorial showing you how I thinned out the original Misha wig, but yeah, I'm really feeling this. Oh, thank you, Nicole. I'm happy to help. Silky sex, two or three is my fave, girl. Oh my God. Altre is not worried. Tracy, say it twice <laughs> for the people in the back. They're my favorite for a reason. And you know what I told Altre too? I actually need to hit up the actual rep I work with. But um, I'm waiting for them to come out with some headband wigs, some synthetic headband wigs. Some of y'all probably saw that Bobby Boss has synthetic headband wigs that a few people have reviewed, but it's not really making any traction. And I posted on my story, I'm like, Altre, are y'all coming out with head headband wigs or not? Like, can you imagine if Altre dropped synthetic headband wigs with this texture, with the color variety that they have? Can y'all imagine that? I'm waiting. I hope Altre does it because I don't feel like anybody could do it like them, but we shall see. So yeah, this is... Miss Kaja, and she's looking gorgeous. And I also appreciate that these companies are stepping up the stock model card game because back in the day, the stock model used to look really like they didn't, they didn't treat those stock model cards right. But now they're actually putting effort into the models. And this, the model rocking Kaja, she looks beautiful in her. So I really appreciate that extra effort. So yeah, y'all, those are the three wigs that I'll be reviewing. Um, again, I'm working with a black owned company. So when I drop that video, y'all better go show love because I, I worked with her once before last year. And because y'all know I'm obsessed with the headband wigs now. And I just wanna quickly show you this unit and the texture of this unit. This is by Eon Hair. Y'all see this? Look at this. Look at those, those coils. This is like a type three, like a 3D kind of texture. This is really pretty. I really like this one. So, and it comes with the this, you know, headband right here, like all of them do. Very stretchy um, with the similar type of cap. This is very, very pretty. And this is in the 18 inches which I thought it would be longer, but of course, when you're talking about kinky curly hair, it always appears shorter. The 18 inches is what it measures when it's stretched. So this is cute. I'm really looking forward to reviewing this one. All right, y'all. So I wanna talk a little bit more. I'm gonna get off live in like another 10 minutes, but did you guys have any other questions? As I wrap this up, um, Tracy, no, Tracy, I've never tried crochet before, um, primarily because the way my patience is set up, I just, even though crochet can be very quick, I got so used to wig straight out the gate, like since 2015, I just haven't really um, tried anything else. I think I would love crochet, but another issue is I love changing my hair a lot. And I know with crochet styles, normally people keep them in for like maybe a good month or so. And that just isn't feasible for me. Like I love switching my hair all the time. <laughs> and then that's another reason why I love wigs so much. So at this point, I don't see me doing any crochet styles in a foreseeable future, but 
you never know. Never say never. So yes, um, before I go, did anyone have any other questions during this small talk Saturday live session that you want to know, whether it be about what's coming up on my channel, um, about me as a content creator? Are there any videos that I haven't done that you really, really want to see? Like, can y'all drop that in the chat for me? If there are any videos that you really want to see, especially for Small Talk Saturday, because we're going this different route in October, where I'll be discussing more personal things. Like I mentioned, like I'm going to talk about my third lesson before 30. Um, oh, Tracy, my wig sale. Oh, boy. I've been pushing back this wig sale month after month. I will be doing a wig sale definitely very soon. Um, and C is going to help me with that. <laughs> She's going to help me with that. She's probably going to be doing her thing in the video when I promote it. So I, I won't say when, but it's coming because... Lord knows I have way too many wigs in my arsenal. They got to go. That's right, E. Put her to work. <laughs> so I, I think it'll be really, it'll be really good. Um, I, of course, I have a slew of synthetic units, like so many, like well over 90, <laughs> 100. <laughs> And then I have a nice amount of human hair units too. But I really love the human hair units that I've been receiving lately. So I don't know if those are going to go on the sale. Maybe one or two, but not all. <laughs> um, Nicole asks, do you have a specific video for those of us with a true widow's peak and silky hair? I do have videos where I showcase what I do with my widow's peak because, you know, I have one right here. So I show... Those videos are in my Wig 101 playlist. And in that playlist, it's just a bunch of videos with me sharing different tips of how to do different things, different styling techniques and tutorials. So I'm going to drop the link to that for you so that you can look through that playlist. Because right now, off the top of my head, I can't think of a specific video that has that, but I can at least guide you with the playlist. All right, so that's my playlist there. <laughs> so Lisa hit my cash app. I cannot. This girl. Oh, you love my channel. Um, please, I hope I'm saying your name right. Uganwa Obasi. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the family. And it's good that you caught this live because I I rarely go live, but this has actually been on my goals list to go live like twice a month. I have not been fulfilling that. But are you guys enjoying this live? Like, this is just something that you would want to happen more often. Drop a, an emoji or a yes or something. Let me know if this is what you want. Because if you want to see me go live more, I will actually commit to doing it for y'all. The reason why I don't do it is because I just get nervous. I don't know why. <laughs> I just do. So if you want more, I will do more. LQ said more lives. Tracy said, of course. I said your name right. Yay. <laughs> Nicole's enjoying the lives. Coco said yes. Awesome. So I just need to rework my goals and really commit to it. Like one thing I'm learning about myself is I need to write everything down. Like I have my content planner that highlights things I need to do for the month. And I have my actual physical planner where I write down my tasks, but my smaller tasks are being overlooked because I'm not writing them down. So that includes going live. So I need to just work that into my plan. Um, let me see. Shantae. Hey, Shantae. I remember seeing you in the comments. Hey, hon, I'm new to your channel. What is the name of the wig that you're rocking now? Is it human or synthetic? So Shantae, the wig that I'm rocking right now, I'm about to drop the link for you. Give me a second, okay? This wig is by Y Wigs. Her name is Zoe, and I love her. And as you can tell, she's a textured unit, mimics like type three going into type four hair. Very pretty, and I absolutely love the color. 
And I was telling everyone that I use this spray bottle. I dropped the link to that in the chat as well so you can scroll up. And yeah, Zoe, she's bomb, y'all. And so easy, like headband wig. I got my little silk satin headband on and I'm good to go, period. Nicole's enjoying the lives. Thank you. Um, do you think you can review our Connie Coil Care Edge Control if you haven't already? So I have not reviewed any particular products outside of hair per se. Um, the edge control that I'm using right now, I will drop the link for that right now. That is called the She Is Bomb Edge Control. It's on Amazon. I love that edge control. I got put on because Brittany shared it on one of her videos. So I can look that edge control up and see what that's about. But right now, I'm really feeling this one that I just posted. Oh, thank you, Nicole. Oh, you're making me blush a little bit. <laughs> I feel like I'm turning red. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Um, hi, hun. Any tips for a small YouTuber doing wig reviews and hair tutorials? Girl, Miss Carolina, I am full of tips. Full of tips and tricks. Have you watched any Small Talk Saturday videos? If not, I'll drop the link to that too. Look, I'm just dropping links left and right. I'm on my computer right now, so it's very easy for me to navigate and drop links for y'all. I really want you to check out this playlist, Ms. Carolina, because my Small Talk Saturdays have literally been about growing on YouTube, on Instagram, on social media. This is, but this is just like a temporary thing. As I was stating earlier in my live, I'm going to be shifting gears to what I originally wanted it to be about, which is just us talking about other personal things. So I am going to share this playlist with you. Please, please check this out when you can run it. Okay. Because I dropped so many gems, but one thing I will say to you right now, um, doing hair reviews just make sure that it being brand new, I think it helps to outline what you want to say. I think it helps to create some type of um, some type of script. Like when I do my hair reviews, y'all know what it is. Like I do my intro. M most times I might do if I'm doing a synthetic wig, I do my intro. I do some styling to the music. I go in. I talk about. I introduce myself. Um, I talk about the wig details, pros and cons, and then we're out. That's like the general script of my videos when I do synthetic wig reviews at least. So when I do human hair, I switch things around a little bit, but it's still the same general script. So I would say, make sure you have a script and do that same thing over and over again. So that becomes easier for you when you're on camera and make sure that you have some type of schedule for yourself where you're uploading consistently. And I'm not talking about once a month, girl. <laughs> like, if you can push yourself to upload twice a week, do that. Because that's how you're going to grow. So those are just two tips I'm going to share with you right now. But I promise you, if you check out my YouTube tips playlist right there that I dropped, it's going to be lots of gems in there. And if you have any other questions, comment on the video and I'll answer it for you. I love Hearts and Cakes channel. That's how I came to your channel. Oh, you found me through Britney too, girl. When I tell you, Britney is my, that's my girl. I'm so happy that we've grown to be YouTube friends through this whole journey. Like, I'm able to really talk to her about anything. So that's awesome. What are y'all laughing about? Oh, thank you, Tracy. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm a good teacher. Yay. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. So, girl, this chat made a lot. I didn't get that one. Um, I'm scrolling up. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Love your beautiful personality and spirit. Oh, thank you, Oganwa. I appreciate that. Your chat made me get my tablet because I need to look up these wigs. <laughs> Girl, get your life. Okay, like, please. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to be a resource for y'all when it comes to these wigs so that you're not out here looking crazy trying to order a human hair wig for $30 at 24 inches. That's what we're not doing. Don't, mm -mm. 
You ain't learned that shit from me, okay? Please, please, please use me as a resource so that you can spend your coin the best way that you know how. Mother P52. Oh, you are always commenting on my videos. Hello, how are you? Can you tell me your name so that way I can call you by your name? Can all y'all tell me your name? If your name is not in your actual screen name, can you tell me your name so I can call you by your name? Paulette. Nice to see you, Paulette. Now I can use your name when I comment back to you. Zequinox. Hey, friend. How are you? We are not in school. <laughs> Am I using my teacher voice, see? <laughs> my real name is um, Alpha, Alpha or Alpha? Corinne, I definitely know Corinne because I see you in my comments. Keisha, did I say that correctly, correctly, LQ? I know, I am such a teacher. I see it more and more every single day. I've been doing this for a long ass time though. So me being on YouTube is really just me using my teacher muscle with adults, you know, in a different facet. So touch your <laughs> Oh, hey, Janelle. Yes, hot foot pimp. Hey, girl. Welcome to the live. Good to see you. Did anyone else have any other questions that they wanted to ask before I get off live? I'm going to get off in about five minutes. And we've been on here for an, over an hour. I'm so glad that I decided to go live today. Let me sip my sangria and stop wasting it. Um, Miss Carolina has a question. Um, hold on, I'm gonna go to Nicole first because she said, "Don't make content unless you're feeling it. We can feel it, and it's a turn off as a viewer." That's a good point, Nicole. Like, you may think it's not coming out, but I'm sure it's coming out to somebody. Like, you don't want to necessarily force yourself. Like, definitely respect what you're going through, what your body is going through, and your own boundaries, too. Like, if it's really not happening for you, which I've had to do a few times and just be like, okay, I can't do this right now, then, you know, don't do it. But, of course, also make sure that you have a plan in place like that encourages you to be disciplined about getting your content out. Uh, okay, so Ms. Carolina, what are your YouTube goals for the rest of 2020? Okay, so my YouTube goals right now, so my goal for 2020 was as far as subscribers, I wanted to reach 30,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. Um, it is now September <laughs> and I'm at 14 K and thank y'all so much because the fact that I'm even here at this point is, is really amazing to me, especially since it's only been a little over a year and a half. Like literally y'all, I started January of 2019. It is now September of 2020, right? So that is in total what? 20, 21 months of me being on YouTube. So I'm really proud of how far I've come. Um, but I can be a little hard on myself too sometimes. Oh, thank you, Janelle. Thank you. So I wanted to reach 30,000 subscribers. I want to reach 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And for a while, I felt like I was at a standstill. But now things are picking up again and people are seeing my content more. So you, who knows? YouTube is fickle. Like you could be at 2K one day have a video go viral and then be at 5k by the next week. Like you just, you just never know sometimes. So I'm going to keep my goal and see what happens with that. So that's one goal. Um, I do have a personal goal when it comes to, um, like a money goal when it comes to the people that I'm working with, I, I really want to land a four figure deal, like from one company. So I'm working on that. Um, another goal that I have, is to really get better with, I guess, balancing my YouTube time and my personal life and just making sure that I'm accomplishing my personal things just as much as I'm accomplishing my YouTube goals. So, you know, that means like making sure I'm doing at least like four things on my task a day. Like that's what I do. Uh, Paulette said, you're doing amazing. Keep the content coming. Thank you so, so much. 
Baba said, love your channel. Need more synthetic hair reviews from Jamaica. Yes. See, and I was in Jamaica in 2018 and we had a blast. We had so much fun. That's the that's conversation for another time. <laughs> but we flew into um, Montego Bay and we stayed in a grill. We had a great time. Uh... Let me see. Let me see. I love Jamaica. My grandfather used to sell fake cigars there in the 60s. <laughs> oh, wow. That sounds like a story. <laughs> oh, Lorna, you're Jamaican. What? Born and raised. What part of Jamaica are you from? That's what's up. Oh, fun fact. Actually, um... My mom's side of the family is Trinidadian, so I definitely grew up in a Trini household, Trinidad and Tobago. So, uh, yeah, I really miss Trini food. I miss curry and roti, chicken curry and doubles and all that. <laughs> so if there's any people in the house, hey. One thing that makes me sad about COVID as well is like, I've always wanted to go to Trinidad Carnival and now it's looking like that'll never happen. <laughs> like, oh my God, it was a dream to go there. I don't know if I'll ever make it and bust up shots. <laughs> oh God. Hmm. Nicole said, I hope you come out with a wig line. It would be great. You know, if I was that, that invested in creating wigs, I think it would be great. But my goals are more so still centered around like just showcasing wigs that are already made and maybe doing some other tutorials, but I don't really want to create my own line, but I think it's, I think it's cool to do. I know people that do want to do it and I can't wait for them to come out because they're just going to steal the show when it happens. Oh, Janelle's Panamanian and your nephews have Trini. Yes. Love it. If you're from the islands, Yes, drop me an emoji. You think next year it's back on, Janelle? I hope so. I really hope so because I'm ready to wind my waist, okay? I'm ready. <laughs> oh, St. Andrew, just west of Kingston. Nice. I love that. I love that. Nicole, I understand completely. Thank you. All right, y'all. Well, I'm about to hop off this live. It's been, we've been here for like a good hour and 18 minutes. What? Thank y'all so much for joining me. I wasn't sure if anybody was going to come on because it's such a nice day outside, but I guess some people are here and it makes me so happy. I don't know. I be feel so awkward sometimes, but yeah, time definitely flies, see. So um, thank y'all so much for supporting me in being on this live and commenting because a lot of y'all that are in this chat, I see y'all comments and y'all know me. I love being responsive and commenting back to y'all. You know, make sure if you aren't following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram because I'm very accessible on there as well. You can always DM me. I also love when y'all share pictures. Like when y'all are rocking the wigs that I recommend, please share them with me on Instagram because I like to shout people out in my stories, you know, post y'all up. So definitely do that. Um, Miss Carolina, you're very welcome. Make sure you check out my Small Talk Saturday playlist. And I hope all of you have a wonderful Saturday. And I will see y'all. Let me see. I'll see y'all most likely by Monday because I have my ponytail lookbook that has to come out. So stay tuned for that. Love you all. Thank you, LQ. Bye. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Hit that like. It's Carnival on YouTube. <laughs>